Well, we have a trade to announce, and it's a doozy. The Edmonton Oilers have acquired the following. Adam Henrique, 75% retained. Sam Carrick, 50% retained. A 7th round draft pick to this year's draft, and the rights to Ty Taylor. Now we'll start with Taylor. He was a 7th round selection back in 2018. He's a goaltender. If there's anything there that Edmonton likes, it'll likely just be a warm body deep in the farm system in Edmonton. The 7th round selection, I mean the most recent success coming out of the 7th round that I can think of for Edmonton is your big seaweed man, Vinny DeHarnay himself. But with all the picks that Edmonton's been sending out this year and in years past, nice knowing that one's coming back. The big pieces though sam carrick at 50 percent retained meaning he's coming in well below league minimum he's a right shot center finally getting a crack at the stanley cup playoffs with edmonton only recently has started to find his stride kind of like a Derek ryan in that sense where his game really started to come into play later in his career a late bloomer but this dude is nasty he's a pest he gets under your skin and he often punches and fights above his weight class the exact kind of player that you need going into the playoffs and also worth noting sam carrick who's drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs so he was a Leaf he dressed for them so that checks that box and why we acquired him and then there's Adam Henrique this one is huge so he's coming in at 75% retained which is already massive in itself but on a Ducks team where I don't even know that they were playing hockey all year like they've been that bad he's second on the team in goals third on the team in points and one of few players that's actually a plus rating on that team that's impressive. He's a natural center. He's a veteran's veteran, a player's player. This dude is a stud by all accounts. Carrick and Henry both led the Ducks this year in penalty kill time, both at one and two in that regard. And this now just gives Edmonton some of, if not the best center depth in the league. And all Edmonton is sending out, by the way, is a first to Anaheim, a conditional fifth, which becomes a fourth if Edmonton wins the Stanley Cup, and a fourth to Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay of all teams, to launder some of that money of Henrique. And also, Ken Holland, after the trade, he did say that doing the trade with this amount of retention does give them space, so he's still working the phones, looking to add in another defenseman if he can. So we might see another move or two between now and the actual hard deadline on Friday afternoon. So with that all being said, let me know what you guys think of the transaction so far. What other moves do you think Edmonton will be able to make? Who do you want them to be in on? I'm going to leave it at that. I'll catch you guys after the Columbus game tomorrow, which both players will be dressing for, by the way, they're already reporting to the Edmonton Oilers. And then I'll also see you Friday for trade deadline coverage on TikTok Live. Thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you soon.